everyone on the internet is buzzing about the latest version of the iPhone's operating system, which includes redesigned lock screens that can be customized with widgets, the ability to tweak and remove messages, enhanced focus modes, and various other significant improvements for iCloud photo sharing, mail, wallet, and other applications. The latest operating system is available for the iPhone 8 and newer. On the contrary, despite its enhanced features and enhancements, many users have reported issues such as slowing down, battery draining, applications crashing, and other glitches after updating to iOS 16. In this video, we're going to show you some of the biggest iOS 16 bugs and how to fix them. So stay tuned and let me walk you through some flagship fixes that will help resolve iOS 16 issues. And if you have not yet done so, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another episode of our tech news and tips. Let's get started. Number 1 iPhone users have been reporting that their devices are running slow after updating to iOS 16. Let's start off by resolving the phone latency and app malfunctions. After installing system software upgrades on an iPhone, performance complaints are not rare. iOS upgrades begin with a variety of background tasks that affect the device, iPhone data, photos, and so forth. Even if you have upgraded to the new iOS, your phone may still need to run certain background tasks, or you might have limited usable storage space after upgrading iOS. Following the upgrade, the iPhone begins to slow down. So, uninstall any unwanted applications and duplicate pictures. Remain patient, since the performance of your iPhone should be back to normal within a few hours to a couple of days at the most. Number 2. Many users have complained that iOS 16 causes their iPhones to deplete their batteries at a quicker rate. In most cases, you only need to be patient while the iPhone finishes doing various operations in the background before the battery performance is restored to normal. However, you can resolve this issue by charging your iPhone overnight for at least a couple of nights so that the issue should be corrected on its own. One possible cause of the battery draining after the update is the faulty app activity in the background. Therefore, temporarily disabling background app refresh is encouraged. If you believe that a certain app is to blame for the problem, you can easily disable it by going to Settings, then General, clicking Background App Refresh, and then turning off each app. Number 3. More apps start crashing on their device after updating to iOS 16. After installing iOS 16, if you notice that certain applications on your iPhone are frequently crashing, you should try restarting your iPhone to see if this resolves the problem. One further thing that might be causing this issue is that some of the apps on your phone might be out of date and hence incompatible with the new operating system that you've installed it may be necessary to update your programs to fix the issue. Number 4. iOS 16 is crashing a lot of people's Wi-Fi connections. iPhone users have also reported Wi-Fi issues. This new update of the operating system has been causing all sorts of problems with networking, so be sure you're not experiencing any before upgrading. The problem can be fixed by simply restarting the iPhone. Additionally, check to see if the wireless network is active and online with other devices. If nothing else works, you have the option of resetting the network settings on the iPhone. To do this, head to the Settings menu, then select General, then Reset, and finally, Reset Network Settings. However, take note that doing so could cause the device to forget the existing network passwords that it had used. Number 5. iPhone is hot after installing iOS 16. After installing iOS 16, one of the most common issues that users report is that their iPhone often overheats. This could be due to the fact that the device is consistently consuming more power than it should. One of the helpful measures that may be used to prevent your device from overheating is by turning off the refresh of the background app. 
Even when the app is closed, certain updates are still applied to it in the background. To conserve the battery life of your iPhone, you may turn off the background feature in the settings of some apps by clicking the Settings menu, then selecting General, then Background App Refresh. Use the toggle to switch Background App Refresh on or off for each app displayed on the list. In the event that this doesn't work, you may want to try activating the airplane mode on your device. Your iOS 16 smartphone has the potential to overheat if it has a poor network connection while it's searching for a signal. It's recommended that you switch to airplane mode before leaving the area to avoid draining your battery and producing extra heat than is required. Number 6. Bluetooth Problems with iOS 16 a lot of iPhone users have been experiencing common Bluetooth-related problems, such as Bluetooth not switching on, being unavailable, or being unable to connect to a Bluetooth device or car audio. Devices frequently skip or stutter when connecting to AirPods or car stereo systems, and there may be unexpected disconnections, screeching sounds during calls, or inability to connect to new Bluetooth devices. Restarting your iPhone with iOS 16 that is having issues with Bluetooth is the first troubleshooting step that you should do to repair the problem. After updating the most recent release of iOS 16, this is a fairly simple patch that should clear up most of the issues that have been bugging your phone. If it doesn't work, try to disconnect from the Bluetooth device or the wireless network and then reconnect. Number 7. Seeing beta versions of iOS 16 instead of final releases. If you're experiencing unwanted beta updates, leaving the beta testing program can be easily removed. To exit any beta program, just delete the beta profile from your phone by launching Settings and selecting iOS and iPad iOS 16 beta software. Next, click Delete Profile, and then click Remove. You must restart your iPhone or iPad for the change to function properly, as well as for beta builds to quit notifying. It's important to note that while this removes the iOS 16 beta profile from your device, but it does not erase the iOS 16 system software that is already installed. Number 8. CarPlay tends to freeze up or fail. If you're experiencing trouble connecting your iPhone to CarPlay after updating to iOS 16, try plugging in your iPhone using a USB cable and making sure it's Apple licensed. Another option is to restart your device. Turning your device on and off again might sometimes resolve the difficulty you're having with Apple CarPlay. Lastly, consider resetting all of your phone's settings to their defaults. It will fix your CarPlay problem if it's caused by a random glitch that mismatched the configuration during the update. After this repair, you simply need to connect your phone to your car again. Despite the few inconveniences faced by iPhone users upon updating to iOS 16, we strongly advise you to update your Apple device because of its enhanced functionality and innovative features. The decision is yours to make. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tech news, tips, and tricks.